Hello, my name is Sjord de Vries and in this tutorial I'll explain a, a specific part of the Rapid Recorder and in this simulation I'm in the role of an Uperform admin. Um, when you log into your project uh, where you have your document library and your website you can set a recorder profile and that is usually done by the, uh, the Uperform author and it makes it much easier for uh, the SME to record content so you can create a new recording profile for a specific situation or you can edit uh, a recording profile you previously created. The recording profile needs a name and this name can be chosen by the Uperform author when he assigns a task. And I showed you this in a simulation, in, in, a, in a video tutorial about uh, assigning tasks to SMEs. Um, what key, what's key that is important when you select it when you use the desktop screen in the document editor if you unselect the box then only uh, a part of the screen will be in the documents uh, for example if uh, if a pop-up is opened in a simulation then only this pop-up appears in a document editor however for the simulation I prefer to have a full screen because on else you only see that pop up also in your simulation. So I like this preference, but it's up to you as an admin to set up a recording profile. Um, if you use this for SAP, uh, you might need to set an option to enable interaction with SAP scripting. And for our applications, we do not need it. Uh, for recording HTML capture modes, you can select uh, the active frame, topmost frame or browser. And actually these settings are normally done by the by the author when he records content. In the, in the full full recorder uh, you have an option menu where you actually can set these settings. Uh, also the screen percentage diff differential. Uh, if it needs target uh, recognition or only image processing for control. And how you can capture the uh, typing in text for an entire file your type screen characters um, and if there is a screenshot delay. Usually you do not mess with these uh, last four options um, but if you um, do that for your normal recordings you can create a, a smear recorder profile because this me cannot change that so you do that on forehand and when pressing OK then you're done. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for listening and watching.